Okay, guys, so I went back and got those herbs, too, and put them back in that. I'm going to kill my neighbor's dogs. I am. I apologize, everyone, if you can hear them. Oh, my God. I have to stop sometimes between recordings just so I can save time so they're not barking. Oh, please stop, please. Oh, no. I can't see myself. Oh, no. them never ever ever works ever that's a way to do it Jill I don't understand how a big kerosene thing like that can't refill that thing, my flask or whatever, for more than five times. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go in here. State box. Two green herbs. Sweet. Oh, this is the door, isn't it? Something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Hey. Researcher's letter. My dearest Ada. Hey! Ada Wong. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and I, I suspected it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope that things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room and activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. Is every if everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a rotenogram, 
I know you and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John, Ada. Got it. Is it the light switch? Ah, I see. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just went to the safety deposit box and deposited my handgun magazines and the two mixers I had just so I could get some room in my inventory. And I'm going to pick up these x-rays. And I have my trusty piece of paper here with me because I have to write anything down. Yes, I will. Initials in alphabetical order. Okay. Why is it not necessary to use this now? Light off first. Part of it is going red. What the crap? Jeez, thank you. Paper here. There's Ed Fisher. A B C D E F G H. shotgun shells? Or that's just a box? It's just a box. Abandoned in the middle of use. Flops. Damn. No? Flops. Now if you can just release the locks on the lockers. Well, don't know how to do that yet, so... Whatever. Head out now. Pretty sure I could. Yeah. It's this way. Oh, oh dear. Oh, there's blood everywhere. Oh, sweet magnum rounds. Ugh, part of the form slide in there. Yuck. Those body bags, that's, oh, that's so gross. The ACT researchers know. There is no evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic comp composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them VACTs. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of the, our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place to an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. 
That dangerous and precarious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Well, go figure. I found it. And it came to eat me. Woo! John Ada. Oh crap, <laughs> I don't know that yet, escape. Oh god, that fan scared me. Beep. 